I'm Bob and I like to make stuff. Today we're gonna make some windows, but they're fake. You may recognize where we are. We're back at Josh's house. Over here, we've built a Murphy bed and this awesome secret office right here behind me. And today we're gonna do another project in a bedroom that doesn't have any windows. This is my oldest son's room and it's down here in the basement on the other side from the secret office but it's always bugged me that he doesn't have any natural light. So without the supplemental lighting that we brought, it is like this. It's dark, it kind of feels like a cave, and today we're gonna fix that. We came up with a couple of ideas on how to get some natural looking light down here. What's the plan? So because this is a non-load bearing wall, this is a finished basement and has poles, we're able to punch into the wall and we're gonna add some two by four flat panel light boxes. And inside those light boxes, we'll dress it up, make it look like windows that we can dim on and dim off to make it look like daytime. And these are actually the same light panels that we use in our office and in the shop. So all the light quality that you've seen in the videos are what's gonna be in this room. So uh, first, we gotta make some measurements, start cutting some holes. <laughs> to handle some of the electrical stuff that was running up and down here, we added a piece of conduit because it is going to be a lot closer to this wall. And in case somebody drives a screw or a nail through that wall, you don't want it to hit the wire. So we've got that wire inside a conduit. It's good and safe. So now we need to cut this thing out. And I'm going to use a little reciprocating saw for this. This is kind of a short one, which is good because I have to be able to get it in here and that becomes a problem. So we're gonna cut the nails connecting this piece and that piece so we can take this thing out. I forgot to mention on this side there is a coax cable. We're not gonna put it in conduit because we don't have any more and they're not planning on using this cable anyway. All right, now we have the additional supports in place. We can go out into the shop and we can build the casing for the window. That's just three quarter inch material in a really simple box and it should fit right in between here. Once we get those windows in place and make sure they fit, we can hook up the IoT switch that's gonna connect the power to the dimmable light itself. Whoops, <laughs> what happened? Josh set the little light thing that we're gonna use on top of the light and then it started to fall back and it fell off and right down this hole behind this piece that is nailed in place, and now it's down here. Ow. We bought more than two, right? Stick with some gum. <laughs> huh. I don't know how to get it without taking this out. I might have some uh, poster putty. If you're gonna do a project like this, don't be tempted to do it the cheapest way possible. You may think that a regular smart dimmer switch would work for these light panels, but they won't. And I know that because we tried. We got these little pucks that are supposed to dim a light bulb. But with these LED panels, they actually make them flicker and it's terrible to look at. And the reason for that is because that these panels have to have a separate dimming signal that's zero to 10 volts. You have to have a certain type of dimmer for that. And there are some available, but they're actually kind of hard to find. We've got one on order, but it's not gonna be here for several weeks. So instead, we're gonna do kind of a temporary solution that we found. This is the light panel that we're gonna be using for both of the windows. It is two foot by four foot. It is an LED panel. It's very light and very thin. So the back, the LED driver is here in this area. You remove this cover and there's the AC in and the dimmer controls. And then you can also select the color temperature and the brightness by these little switches here. So this is the heart of what we're doing. And now we have to build the casing for each of these lights. So this light panel meant to mimic the outside light is gonna be encased in this box casing. So it's a simple one by material. 
So we're gonna measure, we're gonna cut, we're going to brad nail together just to make it look like a window. So to make this look more like a window, we're gonna add window treatment. This is normally where the two panes of glass would move in between each other. This is where the like, I don't know, lattice work. We're gonna try to fake this to make it look like a window as best we can. So this is purely decorative at this point. To make the latticey looking structure inside the window, I'm gonna be using half lap joints. So I've lowered the table saw blade half the thickness of the material. So I'm gonna cut through two layers and then they should saddle together just like that. But there's gonna be others like that, but not this, this is part of it. There's other stuff that's gonna to go together. It's gonna to look real good, but you just hang on, <laughs> hang on. And then after some caulking and some paint, it'll look like a window window. And then we're going to hook this up to the controller and put it in the box, in the wall. See if it fits in this space. Oh yeah, we got tons of room. So this will be flush with the drywall, mounted in place to the studs. And then we're gonna come back over, I'll fill in these drywall gaps and we'll put in trim after it's painted and it will look just like a window. Over the weekend, Josh and his wife did a bunch of painting and they got the frame all ready to go and we're gonna put it in the wall after we hook it up. But I wanted to point something out. The original idea here was to make this window smart, make it so that it could work on a schedule with sun up and sun down. And part of that means that you have to be able to dim this light. Well, this light is dimmed by a zero to 10 volt dimmer line. It's these two wires right here. Now getting that to be controlled over a smart mechanism is actually kind of difficult. We had trouble finding exactly what we needed and we ended up with this switch. So we had to put a switch here in the wall temporarily, but eventually we're gonna get a replacement piece that actually goes in line that will be hidden in the wall behind this light panel. And that piece is a little bit unique because it has 110 volt input, 110 volt output, and also a zero to 10 volt dimmer output. And that's what these two wires are gonna be right here. So we gotta hook all this up, put it in the box, and then we can put this thing in the wall. We've got the boxes installed, and so next we have to put in a few screws to keep them level with the outside of the drywall. Then we're gonna put some trim around the outside, and this thing will be done. The project is all done, the windows are in, and they look fantastic. Uh, despite the issues that we had with the timers, I think the switches that we have work really well and it makes a huge difference in this basement room. Whereas before it felt really dark and secluded, now with these lights it feels like he is not living in a cave. These lights are usable for all sorts of different things, so if this gives you an idea for how to use this or a timer like that that you could fade them on and off, let us know down in the comments because we could probably use them somewhere else. We've also got tons of other types of projects that you may want to check out. And if you're not subscribed, be sure to do that as well. That's it for this one. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. How to get some nut, some nut, yeah, yeah, what are you doing? It's time to build out the casing for the window light thing. Fart. For the window light. Window blue light. You gotta use Robertson screws. Oh yeah, that's, that's why. That's what everybody gets real mad when you don't use Robertson screws.